Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a special episode of Olympicast. The Spotlight On series will be a separate series from the main Olympicast series that will focus on particular events and competitors to just talk about them for a short while, about expectations for what's going to happen and their past performances, etc, etc. And it will just be a good idea of getting to know the competitors and the events a bit more in focus. Today, for our first uh, Spotlight On, we will be focusing on Sly. Sly is a strong competitor in the Tobog Olympics. Last year's performance saw him take 6th in the medal table, losing out to Jack at 5th only by 2 silvers. But given that he only participated in a small handful of events, Sly might be perhaps the most efficient player in the Tobog Olympics. He took home 3 golds and 2 bronzes during his time. I don't know exactly how many events he participated in, but it wasn't much more than that. He came away with a medal in pretty much every event he did. Sly is incredibly selective about the events he plays. He only tends to play if he feels he has a shot at gold. But this sort of selective process means he doesn't play in as many events as others, but it also means he's got much better results than others. Unlike someone like me or Cal, who basically just plays in everything and eventually gets some golds. Sly is a very gifted player in certain events, such as Age of Empires 2, Cards Against Humanity, uh, uh, Rocket League, um, and various other events that he just tends to succeed in. Last year's three golds that he took were in Cards Against Humanity, where he won a narrow victory over Gabe, who was league... Actually, no, he wasn't league champion by that point, but he was definitely the dominant Cards Against Humanity player, but Sly took the gold from him, and that was his first gold. His second gold was the pool tournament. Now, it is kind of easy to forget, given all the time that passed, but Sly is reigning Olympic champion at pool, and he will go in as reigning champion. However, in the OMG MOBC games, he performed very poorly in comparison and took home fifth spot. Didn't take home as even a bronze in that event. He was not very good. However, he is still reigning champion and you can bet he will be bringing absolutely everything he has to the event this year. His third and final gold was in the Rumble Pairs Rocket League tournament with Jack, his only Pairs medal. He did a very good performance there. I remember being in that event. He, Considering it was an event he'd never actually played before, he did something absolutely really good. He took out me and Radek. We put up a good fight, but ultimately he and Jack succeeded. I expect Sly to participate in more events this year, and that medal count is definitely going to go up. I do 100% predict Sly will be in the top five by the end of ev but when everything is said and when, when everything is said and done. However, I I also anticipate he's going to be very selective about his events again. As for his gold medals last year, I do expect him to retain his cards against Fantasy Gold. However, I do believe that when Gabe comes back, he will be giving it absolutely everything to take that gold back from Sly. He will also be going for that Age of Empires 2 gold, but I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. If Igni wasn't playing, I might have said, yes, Sly's got it this year, but maybe not. Igni's a very good player. I also anticipate him taking place in Age of Empires 3, but again, I'm not sure about that. There's people who might be more experienced than him. Um... There is no Rumble this year, but I would be surprised if he didn't walk away with at least one gold in a Rocket League. Maybe Snow Day or Drop Shot or something like that. He is a talented Rocket League player, and I think if he finds the right partner, he can definitely walk away with a gold from that set. In terms of the OMG and BC games, he's got a very strong shot of taking back pool. I'm not exactly biased when talking about Sly when it comes to pool, but he is a very talented player. He is very patient. He knows how to play. Current records are not on his side, but you can be damn well sure he'll be bringing his all to that event, and I would be very surprised if he didn't make the podium. In terms of other OMG events, he has strong uh, participants in... Nothing springs to mind, but yeah. Um, uh, what else have we got? Uh, board Game Online, he'll probably participate in. He's not got the strongest history in Board Game Online, but... It's possible. Tabletop Simulator, I none of the events jump out at me as being particularly strong for him, but he is a strong presence. He could surprise you. I don't know, really. In in terms of the five events that we have selected, he could he could be a wild card, but I don't think he's got anything major going on there. Other than that, um, that pretty much covers all, all his strongest events, and I think he 
is a dominant force. He is very strong, he's very talented, but like I said, he's very picky, he's very efficient in how he plays his events. And as a result, I do believe he will make top 5, but I don't think he'll make top 3. If I had to pick a position for him by the end of the Olympics, I would say probably 5th or 6th like he did last year because... He just, you know, he just doesn't participate in enough events and have enough of a, of a broad range of talents to tackle the top three, really. But he is still a very great player, commendable, and he's made some very big memories um, the last Olympics, and I fully expect him to make some more this year. So uh, what do you guys think? Do you think Sly is going to be in the top five this year? Do you think he might even make the top three? Do you think he's going to walk away with no gold medals this year? What do you think? Do let me know. Obviously, as always, don't drop anything in the comment section below. Talk about it on the Discord, and we'll have a nice merry discussion over it. Until next time, I'm Paramedic293, and I have, and I will see you later on.